Hi, so this is going to be my first video on this channel, on this mouse. So, I went ahead and said that I was probably going to make a gaming channel. Because I wanted to separate music with gaming. Because I didn't want them to be coinciding. I wanted to know what audience was gaming, what audience is, you know what, so, so what do I want to do, to be honest, today I'm going to do a list of mods from The Sims 3 that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. There's going to be a lot, so stick with me here. Let's start with the first one, which is the... Which is actually the... Hold on. That's for another video. Okay, so this is for a replaced game launcher. This actually goes ahead and coincides with my first mod. So, this is the... This mod makes the game so much faster. Sorry, I forgot the name of this mod. So... I'm going to have to physically go into my game files and search it out. I'll be right back whenever I find it. Okay, so this is what I found. So it's called the Smooth Patch. And the Smooth Patch actually makes the game extremely faster. Hold on, I gotta open the game before I prove anything to you guys on this. So. I gotta keep music off because I don't wanna get copyrighted on my first video on this channel. So, because there is a copyright um, element to The Sims 3. Because now people are able to use the music from the base game in commercials. Right now, I think it's just. Discovery that has sprites to this music by The Sims 3. So, so yeah, this is what the music is like. Okay, so we're going to the game now. I'll be back whenever I go into game because the next mod is in game. Hold on. Alright, so the next mod I want to showcase as soon as this loads is from Enros. I'm just going to put all their mods in one selecting. Okay, so I'm going to use Taylor Swift as an example. So right now she is playing Skate. So, yeah, EA back then just was like, okay. 
yeah, I have a lot of expansion packs. Just liked The Sims 3 a lot. Enough that I wanted packs for this game. I don't need the packs. I just love the packs. So that's why I got them. This looks more like Taylor. This doesn't look like Taylor Swift. It actually looks like Britney Spears. But I call her Taylor Swift because she has five stars, baby. And that's normal. So let me show you what this mod is about. So I'll showcase this one later. So we're going to go into Master Controller first. So Master Controller has... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It has thirteen options on this one pop up. And when we go into advanced, there's a lot in here. You can make them learn books, learn drinks, copy the skin tone, edit and create a sim, family. Force, you can force kill your sim. You can change the life skill, the life wish. You can change, you can randomize your skills. You can play with genetics. You can randomize genetics. You can reset the sim. You can click on selectability. You can set service. You can have them at be at a specific skill. So, for example, I went ahead and made Taylor level 10. Or the max level of karaoke because Taylor Swift is actually a very good singer. I max out her piano and her guitar because she's very good at guitar and piano. I didn't do anything else with that. So may make active will not do anything here. Intermediate, you can change their breast size. So if you want her to have humongous um, breasts or whatever, whatever sick people want, you can do that with the NROS mod. So I'm going to go ahead and link it in the description where you can download the NROS mod today. So I'm also going to go ahead and, okay, I'm going to change her breast size back to where I put it. So I put it around zero. Zero to one. So 0 0.1323. Okay, so we got it at the right one I wanted it to be at. So now we're going to look at the other in Ross mod I wanted. Okay, no, never mind. Not that. Okay, let's click on her again. Oh, I forgot there was some in Ross stuff, I think, on the computer that you can choose. I think there is. Yeah, there is. So you can go ahead and click on this. And Master Controller actually has way more options, a, a little bit more options on the computer. It's like The Sims 4's MC Command Center. It's... Okay, I'm spending too much time on NROS. I'm spending too much time on NROS because that's what I freaking do. I'm going to be honest. That's what I freaking do. For a living. So. My talking is a little bit. Very. Very. Very monotone. And it's a bad. I'm going to be honest. It's a very bad habit. So. Why does this have to be my first video? I do not know. So I'm going to go into Overwatch now. So I'm going to show you what Overwatch does. So. What I use this mod for, it, I only use this mod really for enabling cheats in my game. To have cheats automatically enabled in my game 
where I do not have to go ahead and enable it every single time I every single time I go ahead and go into the game. I don't want to go ahead and to go ahead and do that every time. So that's why I went ahead and enabled it with Overwatch. Overwatch is a very good mod. All right, I'm going to go outside for this mod because this is very cool. So you click on any spot in on the ground, you click on options, you can make this in this into thunder snow. You can make this into thunder snow. Yep, you can do lightning. That's because you that's because I have seasons installed. So as you know, if your sim is near lightning, they'll either get powers or freaking die of electric electrocation. That's just how this game freaking works for some reason. So now let's go to the next mod on our list, which is the pregnancy mod. The pregnancy controller. So, I'm going to get Taylor Swift pregnant by herself. I'm going to get her to stand up so that I can show how this mod works. The pregnancy controller pretty much controls everything in the pregnancy. You can go ahead and make your gender the gender of the baby so if you want a boy all you have to do is select male and master controller if you want a girl all you have to do is click on girl you can give birth now start labor now set chances of multiple births you can have one two or three kids it is up to you on how Miserable you want to make your sim. I'm gonna select two because well Might as well eat for three <laughs> For three right okay, so at 33 um, percent of the pregnancy It and all just that you're pregnant and all just that your sim is pregnant and you can't do anything now, honey. Once you know you're pregnant, you can't do a lot of stuff. You'll have nausea, and she already has a wish. She has a wish to have a girl. So, since she wishes to have a girl, dude, we're going to have multiple be. Okay, so we're going to pause the pregnancy because in Let's Plays, you're going to want them to have a, as long as a pregnancy as possible because you don't want them to give birth to a baby super fast. That would be way too quick. In like 72 hours in the game. In game... That is three days. You only have three days to have a baby. I'd rather have a baby two months. And now 44%. You're going to start having a little bit of a stomach. Let's have our sin start moving around. So let's. She's going to change into her maturity clothes, I think. Yeah, she has changed into her maternity clothes. So, this just makes her have a little bit of a stomach. A little bit of a stomach from being pregnant. So, 
she also wished to be to have a baby girl. So so now if you want to be more pregnant, you just unpause, put it at 66. And at 66%, they have a big stomach. Their stomach is a little bit big, very big. Not that big, honestly. This is not that big. Gotta be honest. It's not that big. And make them make her 88% pregnant. Making her 88% pregnant. Now look what's happened. Now you have a lot to learn. A lot to learn and all that. I've already, okay, so I'm going to end the video here. I've already spent too much time going ahead and going over mods. So, if you like this channel, subscribe and check out, no, and check the notification list so that you don't miss any future video. Have a great night, everyone.